Hello world, my name is Bria, but if you subscribe to me, you already know that it's Bria Tiana. But anyways, y'all, today I wanted to um do like a little lyric breakdown <laughs> of my new song. It feels so weird to say that, but I dropped a song yesterday called Can't Be Friends. And um I recorded this song in May and I just put it out because it was really, really real and very dear to me. And it took a long time for me to even be able to listen to it without feeling how I felt. And now I just feel like I wanted to share it with the world because I really, really like the song. And I just want to give y'all a little lyric breakdown because I want to talk. So, let's get it. Oh, if you haven't watched the video, baby, make sure you watch it. I might even put the link in the description box, but it's on this channel. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay. I've never done nothing like this either, so, okay. Okay, so basically that first full, well that first, how many? Whatever, that first part that y'all just heard, that was really just like the base. The basis of how I felt at this time. Um, had a little situation going on and I ended up ending it on some let's just be friends type stuff. Um, then I found that letter on that I cannot be friends with somebody that I used to have feelings for because just because like what happened between us stopped, that does not mean like your love life or who you are will stop. And I just get bothered by it because I feel like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And I just think that's, I can't come to you and check you about how you feeling because that's you and your life. So that's why I said I can't be your friend because I can't just sit around and act like I don't still have feelings for you. Nigga, I like you, you know, but we can't be together. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this part I think is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, I'm oh my god, I see a cat. Basically, um, <clears throat> I'd say the reason as to why I can't be your friend because I see you with somebody else already. Like, and then it's like all that time we spent together, it just don't mean nothing to you because you already got somebody else, and you ain't even taking no time to heal. You ain't taking no time for yourself. You just gonna move on. You just gonna move on from me. That's how I was feeling at that time. But um, yeah. It's just, it's just feelings. This song is literally just the representation of feelings. Like, okay. Page <clears throat> nothing but shake my head at the things that I done been through with this nigga. Oh, God. Like, I just love But it happens to the best of us. And you just take it. You run away. And you learn from it. And I won't do this shit again. do this shit again. Damn. Hey. Love me up and down. This shit don't make no sense. With all your friends around. They each put in their two cents. So is you with them or what? Offense or defense? Is you on my side or no? Nah? Just tell me. I won't take offense. Hold on. Because that's for real. Have y'all ever been with somebody? And then you could just tell they real influenced by their friends. And it's like. Is this me and you? Or me and y'all. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was just me and you, but it's obviously me and y'all. I don't like that. Like, and I didn't, I don't know. It's just a lot of things got revealed to me towards the end. And even just opening up about this right now, it feels so weird. I'm just being so honest. It feels so weird and just so like, I kept it to myself for a long time. Really, because I was embarrassed of everything that happened. But also, I just didn't know how to approach the situation. But now I feel like I have something to talk about. But yeah, it just get real weird when you can tell their friends is an influence in what y'all got going on. Like, I thought this was me and you. Anyways. But it really make me mad when I see you and you go still. Cause all them conversations about how you want to keep it real. But we on the other side of it all. So all is being revealed. You're not my man no more. So it's time I yield to the field. 
It's time I play the game. Do my big one in all these lanes. I wanted us to ride together, but you merged to the other lane. And you are not to blame, cause your daddy ain't been sane. I asked if he influenced you. You said, no, nah, I got my own game. Hold on. Wait, that's real stuff, y'all. That was a real conversation I had with somebody. And <clears throat> he had told me whatever, whatever about his daddy. And I asked him, I was like, okay, so do you think the way that your dad treats women impacts you? He like, no. Nah. But it did. It definitely did, like, commitment issues. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a whole lot of crazy things that go on. And, you know, somebody will do all that talking about how they real turn around and be the flaw just like you you flaw just more than anybody i know like you flaw nigga like you know what i'm saying you you real how's this real if you real what am i you know what i'm saying you're real you know what yeah but like the rest it was a lie and finally i done cried so i know i'm really healing and all that skin is spilling and i finally done seen so I'm really letting you go. This shit done turn me cold. And just hearing my voice as I speak these words, it helps me feel better. It helps me know that this will not last forever. There's something that's going to you. You know, we just need to go through what you go through with your head out. Okay, real quick, real quick. When I say that it turned me cold, I honestly mean that. But not in a way of like, I'm taking out what I'm taking out what I feel on other people, but just in a way of like I don't want to feel that again. So I've just been in the space of really protecting myself and not letting nobody too close to me because it's like I don't know you, you know. Like I just I don't know you, so I'm not gonna let you just do what's already been done to me. Now I'm just very very careful and just very cautious when it comes to my heart, and I feel like I should have been like that from the get go, but. It is what it is. We live and we learn. Okay. It's time I focus on me. It's time I give Big B everything that she done asked for. Everything we done prayed for. I swear that she deserves it. And all this she be hurting. But it won't last forever. I'm writing you a letter. With all my love is sealed. I'm sending it to the field. I'm sending it to your guys. I hope this shit make them cry. Cause they was a part of it all. And it's for all of y'all. I can't believe that I fucked with you. You was just a duck. <laughs> Girl. Okay, so that last part, I freestyled. Because, um... <clears throat> I don't know. I just had more to say. Like, but that whole song, I remember writing it in um in my car. And I just was like, just writing it. And then I found the beat. And I was like, no, nah, I gotta, I gotta record this tonight. It it didn't feel right to let that sit and you know wait to record it. I had to record it that night. And I did. And, you know, it gave me something to listen to as I was like walking through the hallways at school because the hallways is what really hurt my feelings. Like what I seen in the hallway is what really hurt my feelings. But um, having that song to listen to as I was walking, it kind of made it better because it felt like I was with myself. So I didn't really feel as alone or just like as played as I once did. But um, yeah, I'm really glad that I decided to put that song out because I feel like it's it's a treasure, really. Like, I'm just really, really proud of myself, not only for making a song, but just being able to, you know, say how I feel and make a song out of it, like, make some art out of some real, real genuine feelings. And I hope it's real enough and raw enough for y'all to relate to it. Um, I know the sound... Like, the quality of the song, you could tell I recorded on my phone, but I just know as I continue to do this, everything I just upgrade. So, that's why I'm just going for it, because I know where I am right now, I will not be here tomorrow. Like, you know, you just got to keep upgrading and stuff, but I feel like I'd be doing myself a disservice of not putting out music just because you could tell I recorded on my phone. That don't mean it's a bad song, it's just, it's not um the best quality, but it will be. Mark my words. Okay, mark my words. But, um, 
Yeah, I really hope that it's something y'all can listen to. I'm not trying to make nobody sad, but it's just real. It's a real song. But um, thank you for watching this video and thank you for listening to the song. If you did, um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're going through a heartbreak or you're just experiencing some type of loss, I want to let you know that I love you and that things will get better. And if you can, make something beautiful out of your pain because it'll do you some justice. You're just going to be so proud of yourself. So just try it out. You ain't got to share it, but just try it out. But yeah, I love y'all, okay? Stay blessed, stay beautiful, and stay you.